Hey guys, welcome to the 113th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add nodes to an existing XML document. So, for example, I'm going to show you how to add another person into this people node right here. So, for this tutorial, you're going to need to have a button, a name text box, an age numeric up down, and an email text box. And once you have that all in your form, just go ahead and double click on add person. And under here, just create a new XML document and just load the document that we created in the previous tutorial. So in this XML document that you load, you should have at least one person inside of it. The first thing that we're going to want to do is create a new XML node, or create another person node. So what we're going to do right here is we're just going to say XML node, I'll just call it person, and we're going to set it equal to this document right here, dot create element and an element is basically just oops, um, this right here it doesn't have like the end of it and it doesn't have the things inside of it it's just the beginning of it right there so we're just going to give a name to it just gonna call it person all right so now we have our person node and now we're going to want to create another node for the person's name so we can say xml node i'll just call it oops call it name and we're going to set it equal to another uh, element and we're just going to call this element name alright so now we're going to want to set the person's name so in order to do that we're going to do name dot inner text and we're going to set this equal to whatever the user inputs in this name text box right here so we're going to put text box once text And next, we're going to have to add this person node that we, or this name node that we created into this person node, because right now, the C Sharp compiler doesn't know what to do with this name node. So we're going to want to add it into this person node. So we're just going to say person.append child, or basically just add it into it, or add another child, child node. So we're just going to add name. And next, we're going to have to add this person node into our document. So we're going to say document dot document element dot append child, and we're just going to add the person node. So person. And basically, what this will do is it will add it into the root uh, node. So since this is like the root node, it will just add it into here. And the last thing that we're going to want to do is save our document so that all the changes that we've made will actually save. So we're just going to say doc.save, and then we're just going to want to put the path to the file that we want to save, and it's the same one that we loaded. Alright, so once again, what this will do right here is basically just create another person node. Then we're going to create another name node, or another node for this person, and this will just display the person's name. Then we're going to want to set the inner text of this name node, or basically just the text in between here, equal to whatever uh, name that the user puts in this text box. Then we're going to want to add that name node into the person node. Then we're going to add the person node into the root node, or into this people node right here. And then we're just going to want to save the document so that all the changes that we made will then save. So now I'm going to debug here, enter a person's name, I'll just enter Bob. Click add person. We should now have another person in our uh, XML document right here. Yep, we have another person and their name is Bob. And we can very easily just add their email and age as well. So actually I'm just going to delete this right here. Alright, so now in order to add their uh, age and email, all we're going to have to do right here is just create um, two more nodes, one for their email and one for their age. So age right here, set the uh, text of that to age or the name of the node to age. We're going to want to create another one called email. And oops, email. Uh, then we're going to want to set the inner text of the email equal to whatever the user inputs in this text box 3 right here. And same thing with the age, we're going to set the age's inner text equal to whatever value the user puts in the numeric up-down. So the numeric up-down's value, convert it into a string since it's represented as an integer. 
And then we're just going to want to add this age into the person node so it's all in the same person. Same thing with the email. Alright, so now everything should be good. It should add their name, their age, and their email. So we'll just type Bob right here. Set his age to be like uh, 34. Email, I guess Bob at gmail.com. Add the person. Go back to our XML document right here. And there we go. We have another person. Their name is Bob. They're 34. And their email is bob at gmail.com. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.